Hey everybody, Looks Into Swirl here. Okay, new day, new cup project. Actually, we are going to revisit one I did recently that a lot of people uh, found interesting and commented on. It, it, it produced, I called it my ghost swirl. Uh, turned out pretty nicely. Um, so we're going to do it again. I have had a number of great suggestions for color combinations and I want to get to those, but I have had a special commission request uh, that's sort of in a hurry um, to jump to the front of the line here. So this particular one is going to be all about the greens. <laughs> Think money. Think money. So um, I have my black cup. This is a 20 ounce skinny from Makerflow. I will link to everything below as usual in the description area underneath the title. I have taken my 20 ounce skinny from Makerflow. I sanded it, washed it, spray painted it flat black into the resin I put on here, which will be about um, the 15, 20 milliliters, maybe. I'll mix up 20. Um, into the resin I put on here, I'm going to mix some black oxide mica and also, just to make sure it's really, really, really good in black, some Cast and Craft Black Opaque Pigment as well. Uh, that'll make it good in black. And uh, I'm going to put, put that on, and then I'm going to drop on a whole mess of greens. These are all from Woody's Goodies. Let's, let's run through them very quickly. I have Jamio Jello, uh, Tom Collins, Pickleback, Whiskey Sour, Green Lantern, Hammered Hulk, uh, Sour Apple Schnapps, Last Word, and Drunken Elf. Uh, some of these may be very similar to others, I don't know. The only one I have used out of all of these so far is the Jamio Jello, and that is the most gorgeous green ever. That's like my favorite green in the universe right now. But I think these will all be pretty. Um, the uh, potential recipient of this cup loves green, and he loves black. So we're not gonna do any sparkly stuff. We're just gonna do greens and blacks. There will, however, be a little bit of white because that's what brings out the colors that I put onto the black surface. So if you, if you recall, and I will link to this video below. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it if you want to. Um, I dropped a whole mess of different colors on. In this case, there were some teals, some blues, uh, purple and a pink, and... Um, a couple other blues there were lots of lots of different colors and then when I apply I drizzle on some white um, not in plain alcohol ink I mixed the alcohol ink the pinata blanco blanco I mixed that into a little bit of resin and I drizzle just little bits of resin onto the black and it brought out some of the colors and it swirled them around and this is what I ended up with it's a, it's a surprise, basically, it's a surprise. I, I like the ethereal look of it, so that's why I called it a ghost swirl, but I'm sure a lot of other people call it a lot of other things, because I'm not the first person to do this, definitely. So that's what we're gonna do today, except it's gonna be all greens. So I'm gonna gear up and all that and put this on mute and fast mo, and you just sit back and enjoy the show. You won't be able to see the greens when I put them on, because they'll be on black. Um, but then when we drizzle the white on, the magic should happen and we should start to see our greens appear magically.
And we're back. Let's see how this turned out. I'm really excited to see. Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, oh it's very soft. Um, for those of you who may not have noticed, I used uh, Mr. Nola's glitter, <laughs> Mr. Nola's glitters glass coat. I used, this stuff is amazing. I uh, had not used it yet with alcohol inks, so I wanted to try that. The neat, one of the side effects or uh, side benefits of using alcohol inks is they really don't need a whole lot of extra heat for bubble popping because the alcohol inks pop all the bubbles anyway. So I did apply heat to get swirls and movement, but I didn't need a lot of extra heat at the end for any extra bubbles. So uh, if you have a problem with bubbles because of a certain resin that you like using otherwise, keep using it for our alcohol ink cups because in most cases you just, you don't need to worry about bubbles because of all the alcohol ink you drop on. It's a little, little tip there. This is just stunning, oh my gosh. I don't wanna touch it too much because like I said, it's pretty soft. It needs to cure up another 12 hours, so I'm just gonna do this with the arm. And we'll take a look at it here. Let's, let's move. Again, I have another not sunny day, unfortunately. We'll just move over here and try and get as much daylight on this as we can. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh, I love this part right here. That is gorgeous. I have to say that I think I used so much green alcohol ink. You can't really tell one green from another and that's okay. That doesn't bother me in the least. His favorite colors are green and black, so we've gone green and black here. But uh, what I was gonna say is I think uh, the white actually drop down because it's more dense. The white is more dense. That's why it is used in alcohol ink swirls to create the swirls because it, it drops down. And in this case, it dropped down beneath all the layers of green alcohol ink. So the white is gone in essence, and that's fine. So in this tumbler, you can still see traces of white. No problem because I didn't put anywhere near as much alcohol ink on this as I did on this. I used basically a, scientifically speaking, crap ton of alcohol ink on here. And um, there was plenty of alcohol, green alcohol, for the white to sink down into, which is why I kept adding more white because I wanted to make sure you could see something besides black. And I think this turned out just spectacular. <gasps> Let's look at the bottom. Not very exciting, but green and black. So I am so happy with how this turned out. I was a, a tiny bit concerned when I got up this morning and came to check it that I would end up with some white. And you know, because the, the commission was green and black, I didn't really want that much white, although I would have accepted it, I think, if it had been minimal. But this works perfectly. No white at all. We got the effect of the white in the swirls, but all green and black, hot diggity dog. Okay, so this is gonna cure up so that it's hard, another 12 to 24 hours. And then I'll put a decal on it and another coat of epoxy resin and it will be done and off to this customer. This makes me so happy. Oh my gosh, I love it. And we will go on to the third commission cup I have. That's the next video. Stay safe, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.